90 percent of people are not properly utilizing their windows power plan settings and the cpu settings for boosting their fps in valorant so guys in this video i'm going to show you how to boost fps in valorant by using the best power plan and the quick cpu tool on their pc so with wasting and time let's dive straight into over this video so guys before creating the power plan on our pc there is two methods first one is the manual and second is using a tool so i'm going to show you first the manual method and after that i'm going to show you the method by using the program so you need to guys go straight into your windows search and search for power and go straight into the change or choose the power settings once you are here inside the control panel and in your power option settings now here you need to create the power plan go for the create a power plan option and guys you need to set it onto the high performance and name it anything whatever you want you can set it onto your name and also you can set it for the valorant best power plan once you name it anything click on this next button and then you need to go for the change power plan settings so i have already created this power plan on my pc so once you open you need to go for the advanced settings or the advanced power settings for this power plan now here is the hard disk you need to change the settings onto the 20 percent then here is the important setting which is the wireless adapter go here go for the uh, power saving set it onto the maximum performance if you have the wireless adapter or the wireless connection while you're playing valorant then go for the usb settings go for the usb selective suspended settings click on this drop down and set it onto the enable I scroll down go for the intel gpu go for the graphics power plan and set it again onto the maximum performance now here is another most important setting which is the processor power management click on this drop down here is multiple settings so you need to go for every single settings and change the settings first here we go to the 30 percent then go for the processor performance core parking mine core set it on 100 percent then here is the minimum processor state set it on the 100 percent then go for the processor performance core parking over virtualization threshold go on to 60 percent and maximum processor state set it on to the 100 percent once you adjust the settings now hit on the apply button and click ok and guys here we are good to go for over this manual method of the power plan now close out it and for the auto method or the program method you need to guys open up the link from description and that will take you onto this website go for the search bar and search for park and download this tool which is the download park control for free i'm already using it on my pc here is the interface make sure to don't update this application because if you update it so then you need to purchase this application on your pc so therefore make sure to use it without updating so go for the cpu settings for the power profile click on this drop down go for the high performance and make it activate now disable all these settings set all this slider onto the 100 percent then hit apply and check mark on all these boxes hit apply and click ok and this application will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your pc now guys let's go for our next step and in this step we are going to optimize the best settings for our a cpu actually this power control also work like the quick cpu but quick cpu is another most important or the most advanced so here is my quick cpu setup you need to guys simply download it from my website again link in the description go for the website and go for the search bar and search for quick cpu and then press enter and there you will find our quick cpu latest version click on this article and download this application and install it now once you install now you need to double tap here and open up this application after the simple installation process so here is the simple interface of the quick cpu and i'm going to show you the settings which you need to change the first here is over system power plan settings make it active onto the bit sum high performance as usual because we have already adjusted it now here is the core parking frequency scaling and the turbo boost make sure to set all the slider onto the 100 percent then here we go the performance and also make sure to set it onto the 100 percent for getting the high performance out of your cpu now you need to click on this apply button it will change the settings for your cpu now click ok and close out the application now after doing this now you need to open up the temporary folder or the prefetch folder of your windows so for that you need to press windows r together from your keyboard type your percentage temp percentage and press enter and make sure to delete all of these temporary files from this but most important if you have any highlights of the fortnite to save in this folder so take the backup of that folder then after that delete all of this temporary file from here now then close out this folder again press windows r together now this time type here pre fetch and then press enter let me just type a prefetch again press ctrl a go for show more option and delete all these files from here now click cancel close out it 
go for your cycle bin and empty the cycle bin from here after doing all the settings on your pc now you need to simply one time restart your pc and launch the valorant and enjoy the best performance out of your pc i hope so you love it please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification and till the next video peace out